Well, Drew, it was media day here at Arkansas, and of course, a brand new season, a brand new attitude around the program, and we've seen it not only with the players that we talked to, but the way that Morris addressed the media this afternoon. We asked him about this attitude and this new excitement around Razorback football and how his players are responding. I know this, that that, that I can either come in as, as a head coach and as a leader of a program, I can come in and, and breathe life into you guys, or I can come in and, and pull the life out of you. And so and it's all an attitude, and it's all a choice, and I've got a choice every day. And, and as I share with our guys all the time, I share with my seniors this morning, that every day I walk in that door, you're going to get my absolute best. Yeah, Tara, we've talked a lot about his attitude and his enthusiasm. A lot of the players really responding to that as well. Yeah, a lot of enthusiasm. It is a complete 180 from the previous coaching staff. Chad Morris is full tilt boogie, as he would say. <laughs> 100% of the, exactly and it is nonstop and a lot of the guys you know that can be a bit abrasive at times especially when you're first meeting a new coach but as I said they've all adjusted to it very well you know he came and he's like I want to update some stuff <laughs> and I, and I like it yeah I like it he's I mean he's done a great job um, he's done a great job as a head coach and you know I, I trust his leadership we know he knows what he's talking about he has a pass to winning he always says he says he's He's always won. He, uh, the staff is, that he's got always won. And he said, he come right in and said, we're not going to stop winning. He said, that's what we're going to do. We're going to come in and win. And I, the way he talks about it, the swag he carries, I don't, I don't not believe him. You know, I believe everything he says. And I think everybody else do, do as well. Apparently, he hasn't got them hooked on Red Bull yet. But, you know. You know, Kool-Aid. Well, we'll have to wait. It's on Twitter somewhere. Maybe exactly. it's the new Drews or something. <laughs> well, of course, a lot of this excitement brings a lot of newness. And even in the secondary under John Chavis, they've got a lot of new stuff going too. Yeah, mainly the blitz, which in the case of the secondary, that blitzing is going to lead to man coverage, which is the ultimate if you're a defensive back. But uh, Chavis had an answer for that when he talked to address the players for the first time and said, hey, if you're worried about this, there's a certain thing you need to do. <laughs> he came in. And he told us we're going to blitz, we're going to bring pressure. So it's, you know, he used a phrase, it's, if you're scared, call 911. So if you're scared to be one-on-one -on -one with a defender, uh, offensive player, call 911 because that's what we're going to do. We're going to blitz and you're going to be one-on-one -on -one situations. You're going to have to be better than the dude you're going against. It's funny, you know, so of course it's a joke, but it, it has some serious truth to it. You know, um, you, when you go out there, you're on the island, you know, and, and you got to win your one-on-one. -on -one. Ain't nobody come out there and help you. You know, so you can't feel sorry for yourself, you know, and all you have to offer, if you really don't want to be out there, you better call them and get you off that field. Well, listen, I don't think they'll be calling 911. <laughs> uh, they, those players freely admit they're going to get burned some, but they, they'd much rather do that than just sit back and die a slow death. I mean, there's an old saying, you either attack or you get attacked. Mm -hmm. These guys want to attack this year. Well, I tell you what, they love the pressure, and I, I know that they are going to love the speed. You've got a lot of experience in that secondary, and I think they're going to be all right. Yeah. A lot of fun. We learned a lot from a lot of these players here at uh, Media Day, but the one thing that was really the common theme, they're excited to get going and kind of redeem this new era of Arkansas football. For Tara Talmadge and Mike Irwin, I'm Alyssa Orange-Drew. Let's head back to you.